Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best channel on YouTube. Guys, welcome back to the team. Welcome back to the show. Now, we have a very special episode here today. We're going to be talking about Aurora Cannabis. In this video, we're going to be doing a stock breakdown for you guys. We're going to be looking at support resistance, good entries, exits, and long-term uh, predictions for this stock. Now, before we jump into the episode here and we jump into the computer, I need you to do me a couple of favors. The very first one is go down and drop a subscribe down below. Do it, guys. It's free. This is good knowledge you guys can have. Come on. You guys do it. You guys do what you do. But also, don't forget this Friday, we're going to be announcing the Xbox One uh, winner on my Instagram. So how to enter for that? Subscribe, like, follow my Instagram, comment done on this video so that I know you've done it. So let's jump into the computer here. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you in there. So we are up ready and ready to rock and roll here. We are using the Moomoo trading platform. Now, if you guys want to sign up, you guys can get a free stock card just by signing up 100% free. You don't even have to put any money on your account. You can just use the money that you get or the free stock you get. Now, looking at this chart here, as you guys can tell, it's ticker symbol ACB here. And this stock went from 239, pushed all the way up to a high of 1252, sold back down, got bought back up sold back down and lately you guys can see i kind of drew the trend line early but this stock just been getting slammed all the way back down look looking down at it now as you guys can tell there is some previous history of this stock getting huge amounts of volume and selling off huge amounts of volume selling off these are what you call pump and dump so the stock gets pumped all the way up we do have this beautiful bull flag here, as you guys can tell, absolute beautiful. So as you guys can see here, let's draw it so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So we have the flag right here, finish drawing the flag, and then we do have the flag pull. So let's kind of change the color for that so you guys can make it easier for you. So you guys can see the pull of the, and then the flag part. Now the absolute best opportunity to go long would have been at the break of the flag. Now this stock definitely squeezed all the way back up and then sold all the way down. So it would have been a pretty much a risk of 30 cents and a possible push all the way back up to the highs, which the highs would have been at the $6.78 mark right around here. Now during this time, this stock was getting a ton of attention. The whole sector was getting a ton of attention we had ticker symbol Tilray or ticker symbol TLRY go from $20, hit a high of 300 within a week. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was literally insane. So this stock kind of followed in that footstep, but as you guys can see, it's not as hyped as Tilray and it is a little bit cheaper of a stock because Tilray is trading at uh, $20, as you guys can see. Tilray, $20 and definitely fluctuates a lot with a down just over three and a half percent. So going back to ticker symbol ACB or the Aurora Cannabis Group, you guys can look at it and realize there is some nice support and resistance lines. So we do have some strong support here at roughly the 1089 mark. Now this stock is going to have a hard time breaking above it. So let's zoom out so you can guys can get a full picture here. So this stock is going to have a lot difficult time breaking above this. It also is going to have a hard time breaking over this right here. So as you guys can see, this stock bounced and bounced pretty much in the same location here. So this is called a support line. So we can draw that out and this stock is going to have a hard time breaking above this. So this stock is going to have a pretty difficult time breaking over First of all, the trend line, then it's going to have a hard time breaking over the previous support line, then the moving average line, and then all these other support and moving average lines that are in the future. So looking at the MAC20, the MAC200, and the MAC60, so these lines all are resistance lines. Now, if the stock was above these, these would be support lines. So let's get rid of them and keep up the 90 just because... It does make it a lot easier to kind of do a breakdown. But lately, 
we have had some nice little bounce here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So as you guys can see, there is a nice support line right around here, right around pretty much. Let's go and see what price point this is. It looks it looks right around the two dollars and twenty cent mark. And as you guys can see, we have I kind of drew this green line before. So let's follow the green line. And would you look at that previous resistance and support lines? So we do have some resistance here and some or some resistance here and some support there. So that is what it's looking at. So now this stock is going to have a nice opportunity to squeeze. Now it might be in the upcoming future because we do have this little huge triangle pattern that is forming. So let's kind of zoom out so you guys can see what I'm saying. So as you guys can tell, we do have this opportunity when this stock comes in contact with this resistance. So we do have this trend line. When this trend line is going to continue to fall down like this, and we, we're going to have this resistance line that is going to be coming in contact with it. When it comes in contact with it, there's two outcomes. It could squeeze below it, and that would be a beautiful time for a short, or if it breaks above it, that could be a beautiful time for a reversal for it. Now, during this time, a lot of traders and a lot of other investors are going to be watching it for the same reason, guys. So you're not going to be alone because the stock does have a lot of volume. Looking at the volume over here, you guys can see it has 40.4 million shares traded. It has had a high of $2.57, an open price of $2.40. And then the 52-week high of $10.32 and a low of $2.14. So there's roughly an $8 fluctuation between the price, between the high and the low. So when a stock gets a ton of volume, the stock's going to move. It's going to move fast. And that's what you look for. So as you guys can see, the best overall opportunity for this uh, chart, in my opinion, is honestly for a break of this. A lot of traders are going to be looking for the squeeze here. And realistically, we'll probably just get a probably a small little squeeze of two or three percent in that day. And we're going to be looking for almost like a swing trade on this. So I, in my opinion, I think the best opportunity is when it breaks above this this resistance line. When it breaks above this, the next resistance and the next uh, things that it's going to hit, first of all, this is going to swing below it. So it's going to have to break over this before it hits this, just because this is going to have to catch up before this does. And when it breaks above this, this stock is definitely going to squeeze be just because for a couple of reasons, just because the next resistance line is all the way up here at 10 almost at $10. Yes, there are some other small ones here as you guys can see. There's one at $7.42 and a variety of others. But if I set my stops here at let's say $4, I'm I might be risking, you know, 20 cents to have a possible push all the way back up for a dollar. So risking 20 cents to make a dollar, I could be wrong five times and still be break even. So the price point that I see this going to by 2020 is kind of it's unpredictable just because the weed sector is so volatile and has been so volatile now lately this stock's been slammed down but if we just had the right news the right article the right hype around the stock this stock could be at thirty dollars so the when i get the question where do you see the stock going it's hard for me to judge just because it's been pumped up it's been sold off it's been pumped up sold off pumped up sold off so it's, it's a volatile stock, but honestly, in the long term, I do see the weed sector being a very, very large sector. Maybe not, maybe not the Aurora Cannabis Group, maybe not even Tilray, but maybe some other stock um, that maybe isn't out yet or hasn't been out yet or is coming out. It's just a very risky thing with this weed industry in the weed stock very similar scenario we had this huge pump sold off pumped sold off pumped sold off very similar guys this is how all the weed stocks look so that is it though that is my breakdown on the aurora cannabis group or ticker symbol acb i hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget you guys can sign up and get a free stock uh, with mumu so that is it though i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to always stay happy Stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.